Hi everyone. So, you want to make something cool in Unreal Engine 5, right? Well, you're in right place. So, open the Unreal Engine, open an empty level, click on the landscape tool, make it 127 to 127, create the landscape. Go to light, a directional light, take a directional light, rotate it until you get the light. Go to the visual effect and click on sky sphere. Click on the directional light and go all the way down to atmospheric and cloud. Now you got a nice clean atmosphere. Nice, isn't it? It is important to save the project. So let's save the project. It's important. Now go to create Quixel Breeze and it's gonna pop up a window. It's a Quixel Breeze in Unreal Engine 5. Go for your materials. Take this, bring it into the viewport and it's gonna import a sphere. Don't think about the spheres. Click on the land and just put the material there. Double click on the material. Use the tiling X to 0.1, tiling Y to 0.1. Hit the save button. Now you're good to go. Go to the bridge and click on Canyon of Utah. Bring the model in the viewport. It's gonna come right straight in the viewport. Position it, scale it, whatever you want. Bring more assets in the viewport, scale it, position it. By the way, see the preview text in the shadow? Don't worry, select the directional light and put it to movable and it's gone. Put this model here and there, try to organize it, try to make something, try to make a landscape try to arrange it try to make a desert you know just putting the assets just bringing the assets just adding the assets place them in various places mix randomize them to create a beautiful looking landscape at first it doesn't look good but trust me at the end it's gonna blow your mind so just put everything here and there you know randomize nothing is so much perfect all right, now it's time for some foliages, some great grasses. Import the grass into the viewport. It's gonna load, it's gonna take some while to load the grass. After the grass load, then click on the foliage tool and here select the all models and take the brush to paint. Put the right measurement put the right scale according to your scene you know experiment it little bit randomize it little bit many models you can do it you just use the brush by the way this is the 3d model which i used in my scene you can see this is pretty much good you can purchase it it's only two dollar you know to support my channel you can purchase it from cg traders with only two dollars you know to support me nothing else i'll put a link in the description anyways you can use any model there are a lot of free 3d models available in the internet so don't bother but if you like it then you can buy it let's import the model into the unreal engine make and take the skeletal mesh as it is not skeletal import the all model and bring it to the ear scene now you have to texture it so import the textures make the shader assign the texture make a shader you know it's automatic it will automatically create a shader plug the normal into the normal section metallic to one and specular to zero this is the max material if you want a flame in the back then you have to make it max material plug the a alpha to the opacity max and you know you can add an emissive material you know you can make it emissive you know just m for multiply and put a value there and now you will bring this scene into the your spaceship is ready now we will bring it to the sequencer as you know that sequencer is the system to 
output any video from the Unreal Engine. I just did a basic keyframe, you know, in first frame and in last frame. Okay, the animation part is done. Now I'm going to add some volumetrics in the scene. So I bring exponential height fork, add just the color, and I just make some tweaks in sky atmosphere, add just the light little bit, make it more dramatic, add some post processing volume. So now I am making it faster so you can have an overview what I did afterward. If you enjoy my content, please consider subscribing. It will inspire me and I will create more like this. Thank you.